Reality Big Brother's bit on the side. Please don't watch. Switch the TV off now. This show is absolutely rubbish. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> Spencer, reverse psychology. You're not the only person that can do it. Uh, in tonight's show, we are wishing for a bit of this. I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping for a small amount of this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and thinking about a lot of this. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you all just see what I saw? Yes. Was that Rylan and Frankie snogging? I'm, I'm baffled because I haven't seen that before. Please, someone tell me what's going on. Uh, firstly, though, let's, let's meet our panel. Cause tonight, it's ladies' night Yay! in the studio. Oh, yes. We've got the ever so classy... I want to say your name right. <laughs> Monika Gunaratna. Yes. Yeah! Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the sophisticated Lizzie Cundy. <laughs> and the elegant, well, the two girls from Geordie Shore. <laughs> tonight's show yes. Yes. yes okay let's get started we all see the housemates enjoying the big vendor task tonight i enjoyed it did you guys enjoy it it's, quite, I, it's good to see that thing come to life and actually know what it does uh vicky did you enjoy seeing them all take part in something yeah it was nice i think like spidey spidey heidi and sons out of talk no spidey end. spidey's good is that okay yeah yeah, yeah spidey's good <laughs> just, just check um yeah spidey like it's kind of held back a lot and it was nice to see them having fun and being involved, but yeah. I suppose that's obvious because Heidi's a pop star. So, no but wonder don't show your involved. talents because that's not why you're there. He don't like, show them. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> I was quite surprised, though, that, that yeah. they got involved. I thought they'd go, no, mm. not going to do it. But they actually got up there and did it. Uh, Lizzie, you know Razor quite well, don't you? Well, yeah, I've known Razor a long time. About 20 years, first met Razor. He actually gave me a fireman's lift when the Tottenham's players bar ran me round and they got his testicles out and hit me on the head <laughs> and they're huge and it hurts. That's my first introduction to Razor. But anyway. Let, let's not go there. Sorry, we won't go there. From your first meeting of him and that performance to the performance he put on in the show tonight, what did you make of it? Well, I knew Razor would go for it. Um, back in the old football days, his manager then, Terry Venables, had a karaoke club. In, in sort of Kensington way okay. and Razor would be the first one up there and he went for it Aww. but he looks a bit bigger these days and <laughs> still can't sing but no he went for it and I thought it was the, you know they deserved to win I thought they were fantastic they were brilliant weren't they Razor's really thrown himself into everything is this what we expected from him did we think he'd be so up for it yes he obviously does like to have fun he is that type of person and uh, so that's why we enjoy seeing him having fun and just being himself yeah I think because he's such an alpha though I didn't expect him to like being you know, made up as a woman. So, <laughs> uh, here we go. So, girly, he had a little top with some side boobs showing. It was pretty cool. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. I really and he that. loved the waxing as well. He really he got involved the with the waxing. And because he's a man's man, he's always hanging out with Ryle and having a fag with him as well. Oh. So, it's just good to see him just having the yeah. bun, like, um, boy session with each other. They've made yeah. a lovely little relationship, haven't they, Lizzie? Do you think this will carry on outside I the house? I think it will carry on. Mm. And... You know what, they really do genuinely get on, you can tell, and they have a little moan together. And, you know what, Razor is a big old character, he's, he's a big old unit, yeah. he, he's missing his food, I can tell, he loves his food. <laughs> um, but they, they do get on, they, they have a cigarette, I think that's a little bonding thing when they go out and have a cigarette together. But Rylan, I think he's going to win it, I think Rylan can do it, he's, he's yeah. just so entertaining, <laughs> and he deserves to win. And I've got to say, I'm a bit disappointed in Claire. She's she's rather dull, and she's not coming across enough. I, you know, I want to shake her. I, I love say, Lizzie. On, we talked to her about one person. She just reels no, no, off no, the whole no, no, to the no, housemates before them. we've even got but, there. Yes. Uh, now we saw um, Trisha uh, do some sexy moves this evening when yeah. she was. Oh, somebody just went. Oh, on the back. Oh, uh, girls, would she fit in in Tyneside? Do you know what, right? There's a dance move, what we call, what we do in the Joy Show House, called the slut drop. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see Trisha doing the slut drop, so no, her moves were absolutely crap. Have you ever done the slut drop? <laughs> Emma, have I, I have think I you heard should heard do the slut drop. Yeah, have I done it? Yeah. I don't even know what yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 All you need to do, you need to put one arm 
in the air, open your legs a little bit and just drop to the floor. Slow drop, you have to do it after three. One, two, three. Can I do it here? 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 One, two, three. Ryan's been a little quiet, I think, in the house, but he really got involved uh, in the task. So, Minika, are we seeing the real Ryan now? Oh, you certainly are. And I, I love to, I love to him shaking his little booty and <laughs> wiggling his hips and singing along. I think there's an, a, a career in that for him. You know, if he was thinking about it. Does he do a lot of that? Like, uh, you know, I, obviously not as Toady in Neighbours. <laughs> yeah. But, but you know, behind the scenes or when you guys go out, is he? Is he always kind of on the karaoke and going for a laugh? <laughs> well, there's not really a need to sing and dance when you're in the green room. It's more about learning your lines. But I'm sure when he's not looking after the kids, he's out there with the karaoke and swinging the hips and wiggling it around a bit. Uh, now, Lizzie, mm -hmm. th I don't want to make this awkward because you're sitting next to each other, but you're not a fan of Ryan, are you? Well, I wouldn't say I wasn't a fan, mm -hmm. but I, I find him too a bit dull. And I think there's not enough... We haven't seen enough. He, he's yeah. not spunky enough. I want to see a bit of... I just want... Did no, you use sorry. that word? Because that's what they what say our neighbours. He's just a bit... I feel he's a bit wet. I mean, like in the snow today. It's like he hadn't seen snow before. You're wet. Sorry. But no, I just, he's, he's a terribly nice guy, I can see. Yeah. But for entertainment value, I just find him rather... Yeah, Are you surprised to hear that? Yeah, he's being, he, he's completely being himself. He's a typical Australian bloke. You don't show emotion, you don't get involved, you call a spade a spade and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Although he was very, you know, when that whole spidey thing was mm. going on, when, you know, with the ping pong balls and they didn't want to do the kissing and everything, he was, ve I think he, he showed that he was yeah. really on their side, yeah. you know, come on. And I don't think that was sarcasm, I think he genuinely yeah. meant that. Doesn't hold grudges, he, he, he's completely impartial. I, I want him to stay in actually because I love the way Spencer says toad face. Yeah. I think that's why we've got to keep him in yeah. for that reason. Um, what do you guys make of Ryan? Have we seen a new Ryan tonight with him getting involved in the task and kind of seeing? I think he's fake. He's a good I singer. think he's fake. I think he just tries to please everyone else. And um, really? yeah, that's how he, just, he wants to win. It's obvious. Also, well, there's nothing wrong with wanting also, to win. Can I do a big shout out to Vicky and Sophie because I love Geordie oh, Shaw. Thank oh. you. Oh, I didn't realise we were a shout-out show. Anybody else? Anybody else want to do a shout-out? It's OK. They're first-timers. They'll get it eventually. Uh, Vicky, um, were you surprised, 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 uh, surprised uh, by Spidey taking centre stage this evening? Did you, did you think they would muck in quite so much? Who, oh, Spidey? I don't know, like... I was very surprised because they haven't been involved in everything, anything, have they? Mm. No. They hate everything that walks on the earth. They hate everyone. They hate everything. They're, They're always so miserable. angry. They're just mad at the world. So to see them launch into that was such gusto. I was proud of them. Yeah, it was quite nice to see, them, to see them integrating. <laughs> it was nice. Do you think they're doing something getting involved with the group? It's still too little too late, though. Is it really? No, we've got to keep them in. No, I want them to be kept in. They've got to stay but in. After that, I think they need to be sectioned. Yeah. What do you guys think? Were you surprised that they got so involved in tonight's task? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll come to you yeah. in a sec. No, I was very surprised, but I was very delighted they got involved. Obviously, S Club's fa seven fans, obviously. <laughs> obviously, um, yeah. But, yeah, because they're not doing anything, really, except riling everyone, mm. um, it was great to see them take part in that. But, um, for me, it's Razor all the way. He was brilliant in that. He was really he good. Was, yeah. um, they didn't win, obviously. Ryland's team won. Did they deserve to win? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Do you well, want to I think we're going to see Spencer on the next X Factor. I think uh, he's uh, secretly uh. jealous of Rylan. But I stick to my word. I think we need to get a task for Lacey to walk around in her underwear all day <laughs> and annoy Spidey. Oh, yeah. um, we did see side boob from Lacey this evening. Did we see, Did we not? <laughs> and it was, it was voluptuous, to say the least. She was having a shower. She doesn't want votes. Um, okay, guys, thank you all very much. We'll talk more about everything else. Um, about Lacey, actually, a little bit more later on and all the other housemates that are up for eviction. But who stays is up to you. You all know the drill by now. Here are the numbers you need to save your fave. This week, Claire, Heidi and Spencer, Lacey and Rylan all face a public vote. Who stays? You decide. From a landline, call 090 205058 and add the number of the housemate. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate. For Claire, add 01. For Heidi and Spencer, add 04. 
For Lacey, add 05. For Rylan, add 09. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closed in Wednesday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines closed won't count, but you may still be charged. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote. Big Brother's bit on the side. Now, contrary to what Spencer may think, it's not just Americans who don't use glasses and go straight for the bottle. We all remember Kinga from Big Brother 6. She did not need no glass. Now, our generosity knows no bounds. So here is yet another exclusive from the house. You're just carrying back that thing, look. Oh, oh God, it's uh, my face flat all over the place. There's a prison. I'm the emperor. Looks like it. We have to do everything you say. You already power tripped over us once. You better. Oh, it's good. This will show us true colors. Yeah. <laughs> do you need the bottle here? Yeah? <laughs> Master of horses, leader of men, the great Frankie Dittori. <laughs> 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 They're great, Frankie the Tory. OK, so it's day 13 in the house, and I think we've learnt a lot about our celebrities. But housemates are never as straightforward as we think, so to teach us a little bit more about them is life coach Diane Newdale. <laughs> so, Diane, before the housemates went into their temporary abode, mm -hmm. uh, we gave them 60 seconds to write down as many words as they could to describe themselves. Right. OK, so what can you tell about somebody and the list of words that they write about themselves? Well, Freud made, like, word association really popular for psychoanalysis. We're not quite doing that tonight with this. They've kind of done a self-assessment and the unconscious mind has to work really quick. They've got about five seconds to do each. Majority of them have done that. So you get, you get quite a, a real insight, usually about what friends and family have probably told them as well about themselves. But it'll tell us enough to kind of carry us on for the next few days towards the end of the show. OK, let's get stuck in. Let's start with Gillian. Uh, the yes. first three words she chose to describe herself was uh, witty, crazy <laughs> and mad. <laughs> uh, so what is she saying about herself? Or, or, or is this something that she wants us to think about her? No, I think she's actualised with that. Is what I mean by that is she her. actually, yeah, yeah, she can be reflective with it. She knows when she's doing it. But she does peaks and troughs. She goes, witty, crazy, mad, friendly, caring, weird, manic, warrior, tidy mum. So she puts it to bed at the <laughs> end. And you can see that because as an actor, she's really good at dipping into this stuff good actors are, but they can keep it all tidy and contained at the end. Most people that know her watching this will probably go, she's a great friend, she's great to talk to, and um, she's kind of measurable in that way. It's what you see is what you're getting so far. But are we seeing the real her, as in, as in these ones? Or are we seeing Kathy Beale, as in these ones? Ah, well, exactly. My sense is that she's measured enough and she's got enough years under her belt looking great on it to actually be aware of when she needs to dip into this and keep a lid on it. She's not the sort of person I think is going to lose it in the house. I think Trish is slightly similar. Although and this is how she's bringing that. it out then? Yeah. When she yeah. wants to, to show some form Actually. of emotion, it yeah. comes out in an acting way? Yeah, absolutely. OK, let's move on uh, to Frankie. <laughs> now, he only wrote three words. <laughs> is this because Frankie's lazy? No. Or is this telling us something about Frankie? No patience! If he could force the hour of time, 60 seconds, it's just too long for Frankie. He just has to do everything here and now. He's is got that, that the passion. Italian passion It is, in absolutely him. it is. And that's why he's one of the world's leading jockeys of all time for his age as well and then it moves into the next thing which is brilliant because he's not going to sit and take 60 seconds to go who am I and what am I about he's outgoing you have to go introvert to actually self-reflect he's an extrovert he's outgoing it's the second thing he tells you about himself got no patience I'm extrovert I'm outgoing and I'm as honest as I can be about that is this telling us enough about him no <laughs> so we need more do you think he's hiding stuff 
Well, the thing is, is when somebody says they're really honest, maybe he's honest about how he feels about other people. None of us can be honest about the entirety of ourselves. That sounds deep, doesn't it? But I'm sure yes. everybody, <laughs> we could do deep, but everybody, and you know, as we go through life, you discover stuff about yourself you never knew anyway. And there'll be things people know about you that you don't know. Is he in the shadows <laughs> a bit, do you think? A little bit at this moment in time, yes, because he's got two bigger bears in there. But his colour and his flamboyance, when it gets chance to come through, it really can. So he'll pop when he can? I hope so. Okay, let's move on uh, to Trisha. Now, she <laughs> describes herself as a drama queen uh, and bad-tempered at times. We haven't really seen much of this, though. No, but she did flag up the end of the series just tonight, the episode tonight, rather. She actually went, Lacey, if anyone gets on at you about X or whatever, I'm in there. My sense is, and it's just a little twist today that I've seen the first time with Trisha, I don't know about anybody else, but when you get really angry, your adrenaline like shoots up. Adrenaline is highly addictive. Now, I think she's getting bored. And I think, again, viewing her, she's very measured, she's very wise, like Gillian, she's very measured, good actors are. However, I think she's getting a little bored with, within herself. Unless she's directly in the line of fire, in other words, someone's going to directly get at her, she's going to look for somebody else to actually defend or defend or attack in aid of because it's not going to come her way. Is she playing the game? Uh, she has so far, but what she's actually saying is tempt me. Someone, come and step in, give me some friction, give me something yeah. to bounce give off. Give me something Absolutely. to go off. Uh, Lizzie, you, you know Trisha, don't you? Yeah, so I know what, Trisha very what well. do you make of what Dan Well, I, d I think she's not showing the real Trish yet. I think we haven't seen the half of it. I mean, I was at an event when um, poor Amy Charles turned up in the same dress as her and, and Trish flipped, went wild. It got in actually all the national papers. Yeah. Right. So there's a lot more to Trish. We need to see that. We, not enough's come out of Trish. I'm feeling How a bit do disappointed. How do we see that, though? How do you think we see that? Well, we're going to... She's going to flip soon. That, this is why we've got to keep Spencer and Heidi in. She's going to flip soon. She'll only take so much. So you, you can she's see slowly, now, slowly coming up rising, to the boil. And it will come out like a volcano. You just watch. You can see a little at the end of the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's going to... She's going to... Isn't she? she will. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we need to... Yep. Move this way towards <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> um, now, look at the order of his words. He starts with kind and gentle, and he ends on sexy. Lovely. He took the whole <laughs> sexy. Uh, so what does, what does this tell us about uh, Ryan? He does a big giveaway here. I love Ryan because of this. 60 seconds ticking away, five seconds for each word, unconscious mind working. And finally, oh, God damn it, I feel sexy is what he's saying at the <laughs> end of it. And we I'm saw all of these that. wonderful things, but oh, I, I am And we saw that in that last task as well. You give him half a chance. I think on a private level, he's grown in front of all of us as a nation here in the UK, let alone Australia. And he's gone for, you know, from being at puberty and now he's taking care of himself. He's exercising a lot. He's at a stage in his life. He's enjoying himself. He's enjoying his health, his physical health and his sexiness. And why he's not? ripping his top off and he's yeah. rolling around in the snow. No. Uh, Monique, do you agree with that? Absolutely. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly... I, I, I think he's at peak physical condition and, and he's worked really hard to get yeah, to where he, he is, both physically and emotionally and, and mentally. And I, I think that's the kind of person... That, yeah, he's completely honest. Like I said, straight-laced. Straight-laced. OK, yeah. uh, let's move on to... Good old Razor. Uh, the, what we notice here is he's put food twice. <laughs> Up there. <laughs> so what does a significant... Is there a significance to the fact that he's put that twice or does that just mean he loves food? Well, he, he just loves food. But <laughs> as people, in coaching, there's a, there's a form of analysis... Uh, uh, analyzing people. Some people are very visual, some people need to hear things, some people need to feel, hear and see things at the same time to make sense of the world. He just needs to eat it! <laughs> or drink it! Or drink it! Yeah. But what I love about him is also this bear thing. Bears can be lazy, laid back, big tub of honey or just food and vodka and coke. And he's also said between the sheets he enjoys that side of his life as well. So he's very into feeling, he's very into feeling in every way through whether it's food or feeling, feeling. And we've already seen this. And what's lovely about Razor is he's shown Grizzly Bear, OK? And even Big Brother went, no, not in here, not like that, that's too much. He's, he's what we call self-actualised. He went, yep. I own that. That was too much. So you went straight back to being laid back. Lazy bear. And we like, like that. Yeah, you can have my bed. It's yeah, fine. Exactly. Just take it. <laughs> um, now, we also asked our Geordie Shaw girls if they would write down the words that best describe yeah. them. So, yeah. without me Yay. falling off the side of the stage, um, what have we learned about Vicky and Sophie? 
Well, I think <laughs> even in just the few, few lines that have gone on in the last 15 minutes live on this show, <laughs> absolutely everything. You don't even need to be more descriptive than that, girls. And for me, reality TV with these sorts of, the kind of the roundness of character and the colour, and we're seeing this. In reality TV in this country, we tend to get rid of some of the really interesting characters early on in the series. Mm. And, you mm. know, mm. That, mm. we need that freeze-on, like we were saying about Trisha earlier. People need a bit of freeze-on. We need the colour. We need the things that are going to stir things up. And also watching people having a, a really good time at whatever cost. That's what we like to see in reality TV. So everything you've written, absolutely. Do you agree, girls? Yeah, I had literally a minute to do it, right? But <laughs> looking at Vicky's, I think she summed herself up to a T. And I look at there, a bit good. I didn't put more words on, if I'm honest. I think Reza looks more like a Jordy Shaw lad. The things he's written down, lots <laughs> of coke, food, big <laughs> lazy, laid back, funny and big. He's more Jordy Shaw than us. <laughs> Girls, thank you very much. Diane, as always, you were brilliant. Diane, you were <laughs> is a woman of many talents. She's a model, a presenter, an actress. She's a keen swimmer. She's even a chocolatier. It's quite amazing, I think you'll agree. Uh, but did you know she's also a survival expert? Last week, Paula Hamilton was heartlessly evicted from Celebrity Big Brother by you, the merciless voting public. Today, I'm going to convince her to swap Boramwood for the Wildwoods to see if she can last longer in the wilderness than she did in the house. But don't worry, she's a natural survival expert. Oh, my nipple! God damn it! <laughs> God help this. Well, Paula, everybody knows you're the uh, Bear Grylls of ex-supermodel chocolate tears. What tips can you give me for living out in the wild? It's really important to know where your hands, your feet, your head and your ass is at all times. You don't want to sit on an ant's nest. What tips can you give me to ward off any potential aggressors? A very, very, very gentle one is to take someone's pinky, double yeah. it back, pull it like that, until oh. they get down on their knees. Ah. I don't have a karate licence, it just kept the house in check. Oh, OK. Um, yeah. Well, let's see how uh, prepared you are. Okay. Wait a minute. Bring it on, boy. Ah. Ah. Drop it. Well, it works. I feel quite sexually aroused right now. Crunch them, straighten them, crunch them, straighten them, crunch them, straighten them. Well, thanks to Paula, we've survived the wilderness there, uh, but like the tree in Pocahontas, she's still got a lot to teach me about her pal, Mother Nature. Next up, the animal kingdom. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Can you detect which one of these piles of shit is predator poo? Well, describe the scent. So I can smell tomato in it, but I can also smell meat in it. I see monkey poo. Brilliant, this I okay. can smell a lot of urine. And I think this one here is definitely, I'd say, cheetah or leopard poo. Well, this one on the left, yeah. gibbon shit. Yeah. The one in the middle, otter poo. And this one is python crap. Python crap? Yeah. Amazing. I thought you were talking shit. Nah. Paula never speaks shit. Oh, you are gorgeous, man. Thank you. You had a bull's penis in your mouth yep. whilst you're in the house. Did yep. you know that the Brazilian tapir yeah. has the biggest penis Hello, to body darling. ratio of any animal? I thought it was the elephant. No? When they get their willies out, my God, you run. Uh, who was the biggest cock in the house? I think the biggest cock in the house is Ryan. For sure. Why is that? Not cock size. Just a cock. Well, speaking of that, who had the biggest <laughs> cock in the house? I have no idea. I didn't look. Hey, look at that. I got piss on my hat. <laughs> Who's a gorgeous one, eh? My spirit guide is a wolf. I raised wolves in Tokyo, and my job was to give them baby piglets, and baby piglets look like little children. This little fella, Sloth, sleeps 20 hours a day, then just stares vacantly for the other four. Who does that remind me of? Way, stick him in a kilt and call him Sam. <laughs> Sadly, that's the end of my walk on the wild side with Paula Hamilton. It's freezing. It's time for us to get back to our natural habitats. Me to the bit on the side studio and Paula to, uh, uh... Night, Paula. 
night, Jamie. <sighs> <sighs> Big Brother's bit on the side, just like the film Les Mis, we clean up all the award shows, we love a song or two, and we effortlessly make our viewers cry every <laughs> night. I never tire of saying this. Would you like another exclusive? Yeah! Here you go! Greetings to you all, my dearest, pathetic housemates. Ask yourself this. How can I be more like the great Frankie Dittori? So that you'll be able to think about this question clearly. I hereby ban all your personal belongings. This include clothing and all air and beauty product. I'm replacing your pity civilian clothing with official regime uniform. You will all look much better in these, especially you, Rylan. Your clothes are just terrible. Long live the regime. Long live the great Frank Kiritori. Now then, Claire, Lacey, Rylan and Spidey all face eviction tomorrow night. If you haven't made your mind up who you're going to vote for yet, then maybe the following will help you or at least, hopefully, make you laugh. Are you all right? I'm not showing favouritism. I can't do that. Yes, I'm impartial. <laughs> Excited. Oh, get a little giggle. We've slept together. It's fine. It was good, though, wasn't it? It's all right. Yeah, it was a bit too quick for my liking. It's not my fault. You're a junk. You can call me Governor. My name's Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Do I look more handsome in real life? Do you look more handsome in real life? You've still got that pair of tits tattoos on your back. Yeah. Who is your favourite member of Steps? Claire from Steps. Legendary. I haven't got a favourite. Which one's Claire from Steps? Is that the one that came the out one today? That, the one that sings. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Who are you? I'm Lacey Banghard. Right. Who should Katie Price marry next? Me. What would your porn star name be? Harvey Edwards. Probably Lacey Banghard. <laughs> I'm trying to think what am I. Yeah, that doesn't really work. <laughs> What role were you going to play in the house? I wasn't the one who cried the most. Probably the one that's not really famous. Why, why are you doing Big Brother? Why are you uh, doing You know, I like money. We, we like a glam model on, on, on the side? Yeah. We've had many. Okay. And I'm going to look really different, though. Why? What kind of questions are that? I've brought my own sponge with me. Where do you think you're going to come, though? All over your face. Excuse me? Not in the eyes, though, because they're like little fishes that eat. They eat the membrane. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, my they, eyes wear, are they wear sunglasses, they look a bit bloodshot. Which previous celebrity contestant do you think you're most like? I really like Sylvester Stallone's mum. Rian. No. You're more of a Denise Welch character? No. no. Is that because of the boobs? No. That too. Frankie Kokoza? Not much going on, though. Yeah, I'm, you know, not as much going on <laughs> as this fella. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you meant in the head. <laughs> what's the hardest bang you've ever had? Uh, what's the hardest bang you've ever heard? Claire, it's been a joy. That's, That's it? it. I'm I, don't, I don't fuck around. Go and watch Mean Girls tonight. All right. Come to my room. I'll show you. Uh, so that's the nominees in their own words. But who do we think is going to go tomorrow? In the interest of fairness, we're going to... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're going to spend two minutes on each of the uh, nominees, after which we'll hear this noise. <laughs> and then we'll start talking about somebody else. OK, so first up, we're going to talk about Claire, or Claire from Steps, as she's known. Let's start the clock. Go. Uh, Lizzie, do you think Claire still would have been up had Spidey not automatically put her up there? I think Claire would still be up because she's sleeping a lot of the time. She didn't take well when she got caught out for chatting about um, Spencer and Heidi. She took, she started crying, getting emotional. She sort of like stopped wearing makeup, didn't look after herself and hibernated. Just slept was mm. boring and just sleeping. And that's not what I want to see from Claire from Steps. I want to see her up. Do you think enough people fun. would have nominated her? 
No. 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 Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, no. I, I, they would they would have been a few nominations. She's too dull. She isn't she's not bringing the house together. Mm. You know, what she can sleep when she gets out of the house. Don't sleep in there. Monique, all the time. do you think she's had a starring role at all? No, I struggled to learn her name when I was <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That sounds horrible, but when I was prepping for this, she was one of the people that I found really <laughs> hard to actually make her name stick, and it's because she's not standing out enough. So steps weren't big in Australia. It, they were. Oh, once were I they? Heard steps, were I'm like, they? oh, she's that girl. She's a five, six, seven, eight one. But <laughs> oh, everybody knows her as the five, six, seven, eight one. Um, Sophie, do you think she's connected with the audience? No, I don't, right? I think she's a bit boring, if you ask me. I don't understand. She needs a backbone when all that was going on with Spidey. It was Spidey. She was just sitting back, like, she why should she stick up for herself? Yeah, it's no wonder she got bullied in set. She needs to seriously get a backbone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> She's so, so boring. Yeah, she is. Will the show miss her, do you think? No. no. no I wouldn't miss her, though. She's no. doing a lot of the cooking. I do think she's got a role, and I do think at the moment she's got a reason to be mm. there. So yeah. I don't think she would have got nominated. She's doing the cooking, that's She'll an probably imperative be a part. Mixed Will you guys miss her if she goes? No. no? She. She's only doing the cooking that uh, she stays there. And, that, and out, out of all four, she's the one that I don't think people are going to miss. Out of all four. No. What, anybody? <laughs> any, uh, anybody? Nothing. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, next on the list is our resident glamour girl, Lacey. Um, Lizzie, is she as you expected? Or as we perceive a glamour girl to be and as we oh, expect a glamour girl to be. I, I actually think she gives glamour girls a bit of a bad name. It's her voice. Hello, Neil. Um, I can't do that voice anymore. It's really irritating me. She, she can't help her voice, though. I know, but she's childish and she hasn't got much about her. But she's young. She says very weird stuff to Spencer. Then, you know, just weird. She called, you know, she said, your life's basic. I mean, he looked like, he was like putting this face mask on. He looked really delighted with that. I just think she hasn't got a clue and just, no, over, kaput, out. Uh, Monique, we've seen her strip down to her undies. Mm. Uh, will this go against her, do you think, in the vote? Um, I don't think it'll help her, bless her cotton socks. I really like her. I think she's quite endearing and a little bit naive, but I don't think it's going to help her to show I do feel her. a bit sorry for her. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I mean, she's the youngest in the house, and um, to be honest with you, she has shown signs of a personality, which is more oh, than what? some of the other girls have. Oh, what? What has she shown? What has she, she shown? Oh, oh, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good enough for me, actually. Exactly. I mean, it's <laughs> And I would like her to stay, um, but I think she will go. Usually, like if glamour girls have come in in the past, they're a bit, they have a bit more of personality. But she's just being too fake. She, she's being very sweet, but it's not, it's not real. Do you know Are you I mean? not buying? That, I'm not no. because to to Spencer, she said you lived a very basic life, and that's, you know, that's an insult. I think. Yeah. I think there's more in her brain than she's making out that there is. So you think she's kind of playing on the ditzy... She's trying to be, a, she's trying to be an innocent little girl, but she knows exactly what she's doing. So she's you, don't clever fan, you don't fancy her? No, she's cleverer than what we make her so out So you don't fancy her? No, no, she needs to go. So you don't fancy her? Oh, no, she's hot. She's hot. <laughs> Three times it took him to answer that one question. OK, <laughs> there goes the horn. Uh, next, we move on to lovely Rylan. Bless it. <laughs> Uh, Sophie, Spidey put him up for being dull. Is this part of their game? No, plan, I think? love Ryland. Like, uh, it was about two weeks ago. He inboxes on Twitter, right? And I was so buzzing. I was running around the house. I was like, oh my God, Ryland has tweeted us. We had so much banter, and I love him so much. I'm Team Ryland. I want him to win 100%. I don't think but he's But do dull. you think that was part of putting him up? Was that part of Spidey's game plan, do you think? Yeah, do you think they've done it? They, they said he was dull. He's clearly one of the liveliest people the in the thing, house. It's competition for them. That's he's, what it is. Since. He banished them to the basement. Like Spencer has had a real issue. problem with him. He had, he's had a vendetta against him ever since, yeah. and it's just not going anywhere. No. It's literally like it's really getting personal. I think. Um, they also said Monique that he plays up to the cameras. Do you think he does? Right. I just think he's a theatrical person. It's not yeah, him, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I don't think he's playing up to the cameras. Yeah. I think he's just a flamboyant just, being. I think that's just who he is. And yeah. do you like that? I like it. Yeah, it's really oh. watchable. Are we all for that? Yeah. Yeah. You're all going to love Ryland, aren't you? Dare oh, I come into that audience yeah, and talk about Ryland? Anyway. We you love him anyway. He's, he's in there. He's so natural. They put, they put a complex on him by coming out and saying he's playing up to the cameras. He's not yeah. playing up to the cameras. He doesn't even know where the cameras are. Well, not until he hit the fender machine. Well, he, he's just having no time of his life. 
Without <laughs> Riley, I, it'll be boring. It would be. Yeah, it was always. The only little thing I would say, because I know this guy, I think he overanalyzes. If there's an argument, he will then go back over it and over Ooh. it. And you think, just leave it, move on to the next round, yeah. let's see some entertainment. But he wants don't, to be late. Don't like, worry, he just wants to be liked. That's understandable, though. He's only been in the public eye for a short amount of time. And he's yeah. had this love hate thing with the public. And he, he's you very know. sweet. When he was even God. talking to Spencer and Heidi, he said, Look, you're from the hills, I'm no one. You know, he yeah. doesn't look at yeah. himself as a celebrity, which I like about him. He's a down to earth guy. What would this show be like? There we go. Mm -hmm. Guess what time it is. Spidey time! Uh, once again, all of the housemates nominated uh, Spidey. Now, Spidey's night of passion, um, it hit the headlines in Australia. Can you believe it? That night of passion that didn't actually happen. Uh, girls, do you think this was premeditated? What on earth was it? It wasn't anything. It was a job. Was well, it? I didn't think anyone did the thing. jobs it, That's what it looked like was in the stills. Was it just Brian and Annie or something? <laughs> we actually played the whole thing out last night and we matched clips to the pictures. And it was basically them going to bed, they had a little sing and then he went, oh, I need the toilet. And, got <laughs> oh, up and, no. and it looked like he was going to clean up, whereas really oh. he was just going... Oh, no, that's so, so boring. Sorry, I forgot where I was for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> Minnick, they've isolated themselves from the house. Surely this has got to be a bad move. Yeah, you know, as much as they make my skin crawl to watch them, they're really... Yeah. They're clever and, they're, and, and they know how to play the game and it's interesting to watch. And you just watch them to see what crazy stuff comes <laughs> out of their mouth next and what crazy bent on reality they actually have. So mm. I think oh, they're not going to... You've got to oh. keep them in, though. Yeah. Please. Yeah. They are the yeah. weirdest really people really ever. Oh, let's quick, really really try and get another question into you guys. All of the house seem convinced that they're going to stay. Are they going to stay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 they're going to stay. They're winding everyone up and they're doing a good job of it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They're completely entertaining, and I think they're going to make it to the final. Really? Yeah. Someone, what, oh, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, Mike, Mike, Mike. Everyone loves a good kickoff, so all the time they're in, it's going to go mental, yeah. so they're going to love it. They're going to stay. They're, they're going to stay. Yeah. We love they, to make them, they make it interesting, but I really hope people save them, because they might not like them, but... It's interesting. It's the hills. Yeah, it's England. It's glamorous. You know? It makes it. It gives glamour to the show. What Spencer? Kind glamorous? of like what <laughs> Diane was saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Final klaxon. Uh, and finally, let's go to the panel. Who is going to go tomorrow? Claire. What's her face? Claire. Yeah. Claire from Steps. <laughs> Claire. <laughs> Lacey, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah, for me, Lacey as well. She's just not doing enough. I think Claire. Now I've changed my mind, Claire. Audience? Yeah. Claire or Lacey? Any others? Any others? Right, little Spidey, anyone? Claire or Lacey, watch this space. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, still to come, we'll be sending Vicky and Sophie up to the reality gallery. I do apologise in advance to my bosses. We'll see you in a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to Bit on the Side. Now, the housemates might have loved the big vendor, but I'm not a fan. I tried to buy a packet of extra crunchy biscuits earlier, and he said he'd show me his crunch if I showed him mine. He's a right dirty perv. <laughs> Here's today's news. Today at 2.25, not only did the civilians have to give up all their beauty products and cigarettes, but the dictator's guard served up another delicious blow. I don't even know if I want to go the there with that. The tuna that? And that is not... I reckon that's a can of, like, that is fucking pedigree food. chum. <laughs> that is oh. cat food! Oh, no, look. What? Oh, you are not... <laughs> what is it? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> don't start me, don't wreck... Oh, because I can smell it. But it's like a bit of, like, <sighs> cat. They won't give us cats to eat, would they? Yeah. The more, honestly, if I keep thinking about it, I'm going to throw up. <coughs> I'm watching this. <coughs> oh, God. Make us all go. Don't can't hear that. <coughs> Don't in the toilet. I never saw her as a spitter. Did you? <laughs> At 5.09 this afternoon, Big Brother sent Rylan a task of becoming the leader of the revolution. Big Brother should be in charge of this house, not Frankie. The yeah. power is going to Frankie's head, and very soon he may be unstoppable. This is where you come in. Go on. Big Brother wants you to lead the other housemates in a secret revolution against Frankie and overthrow his despotic regime. 
if the revolution is successful, Big Brother will reward you with a luxury shopping budget. Oh, shut up. Is this all down to me now? Can Big Brother count on you, Comrade Rylan? No, but Kathy Bill will be like, no, we can't do that. Oh, drop me out. Bollocks, I'm hungry. I don't care what I've got to do. If I've got to drag them by their... boobs, I'll do it. <laughs> Who'd have thought Ryland was a boob man as well? Uh, and finally, Ryland took to the floor to prove just how revolting he can be. Ryland, please come forward and stand in front of my balcony to take the Pledge of Allegiance. I hereby swear my eternal loyalty to my supreme and glorious leader, Frankie, <laughs> and pledge my undying allegiance to his mighty regime. Ryland, tell me why you love me, and then you may kiss my riding coat. Um, I absolutely loved you, and... I just think you're a great leader and um, your hat is taller than you are. Good. And you're out of order for taking all that stuff off of us. And I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we might have to send you to jail for this kind of comments. Thank you, God. Prisoner is in. Trust Ryland to get banged up. That is the news from the house. But what's going on right now? Wait. Let's go in the sweaty box and find out. Uh, Helen. Hi, Willis. We're going to chat in a minute, but Vicky and Sophie should be in the reality gallery. Can you hear me, girls? Yeah, yes. can you hear us? Yes, we can. What's going on up there? Right, basically, Frank has been dead caddy. What he's done is he's told Claire and Lacey, well, he's chosen to go for some dinner with him, yeah. um, because potentially they could go tomorrow. Right. Little did Frankie know the girls had a secret mission of their own. They had to bug his phone and swap a set of keys he's got with a dummy set. If they succeed, they'll get all their belongings back, which is kind of good. Ooh! Anything else going on that you can see? The housemates are freaking out over the tinned rations. They're going absolutely mental. <laughs> but you Rylan, would though, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would be fuming if someone took my food from us. But Rylan... He's took a proper hissy fit and he's faked, like, he's, he's faked being really hungry and he's faked fainting. So is this part of his little secret mission still? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Come okay. on, man. And, he, and he's doing a good job? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Ryan's doing really well. You're good at that. The rest of the housemates have been discussing how weird it was. It would be when they all leave the house. After sleeping, showering and going to the loot together, they say they all want to keep in touch. Yeah, I bet that'll happen. Do you not think they'll keep in touch? No, not oh, at nah. all. No. The minute they walk out the door, they'll forget each other's names, guaranteed. What about when Geordie Shaw ends? Will you girls keep in touch? Yeah. We don't even like each other. <laughs> <laughs> we go for dinner all the time together. And don't like, I would never speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much. Thanks, so much. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, oh. Bless them. Serious, um, first of all, hello. Oh, no, look. We clearly got the memo get about the memo. wearing the High same skirts. Skirt. Um, what's going on? We've got quite a bit of time today. Excellent! Yes. Well, I've got quite a lot to tell you, so that's quite okay, nice. Let's do it. Um, guess who has been trending alongside Big Vendor and BB Bots tonight worldwide? Who? Emma Willis! Oh, wow. Your name, yeah. Hashtag Emma Willis has been trending worldwide. Oh. Which is Ooh. nice. Scary. In a positive way. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, but obviously the most everyone is talking about is who should we save tomorrow? Yes. In tomorrow's eviction. Um, at Charlotte Lee says, come on you guys, clearly it's Spidey to save. Think of the Big Brother house without them. It'd just be a house. They are the entertainment. They are, but then you do have big characters like Rylan. Rylan. You know, Frankie yeah. has his moments. Razor. Yeah. You know, they're, they're they've are... been great tonight. No, yeah. yeah. Well, they, well, Claire McDermott says um, Rylan and Claire must be saved. I will not continue to watch if Spidey aren't out. Claire, that's quite extreme. Don't don't cut us off. Those are Come big on. words. They are Claire. I don't think I don't think she means it. Please, please don't, don't Claire. Claire. Come on. What Stick else? with this. Mark Davis is a late lady tweet. Think Lady should be saved because she has been nice and needs all the votes she can get. She has been nice. Is that enough? See, this is where the debate comes in, isn't it? Do you want to keep the nice people in? Or do you want to keep the entertaining, entertaining people, people in? in? Or But some of the entertainment... Entertaining people. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, are nice as well. Wow. Exactly. So, you know, what do you do? What do we do? Well, Lynn Dowling says, Save Claire, she's genuine in comparison to the others. Um, that's why she likes Claire. Which I think is quite fair. I think Lacey's quite genuine. Yeah, I think... Uh, Claire's, Claire's quite, quite genuine. Claire's quite genuine. Claire's quite. Yeah. Ryan's quite genuine. I think they're all Ryan. I think he's very genuine. Yeah, I think we've got a lot Your of genuine Amy's people. Very Helen. She's a bit. She's a bit ropey. Um, thank you. Anything yeah, else? Thanks. Very quickly. We're running out of um, time. So Big Brother's mate says um, save Spidey because they cause emotional outbreaks from every viewer, which is kind of true. We all have a feeling about true. Spidey. 
That is it for tonight. Thank She's you to my panel and audience and Helen. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for eviction number three. I'll be joined by Matt Johnson, Joe McAldry, and Barry from EastEnders. Good night.